Saggy, saggy, saggy. I love you guys so freaking much. Thank you so much for watching Mama Faya Tarot. I am Melissa. I am a Sag Moon, and I am here to deliver the Mercury in retrograde messages. Uh, the people have spoken, and I have listened. So this is what you guys all voted on. No, there was like 35 of you, but still, it's all y'all who voted. Uh, you voted, and I love it. I'm actually really glad not to be doing love messages, although in the other two fire readings, um, love definitely came up. So, let's see. Whatever comes through during this Mercury and retrograde for my beautiful Saggies. Um, I gave birth to a beautiful Sagittarius sun baby during Mercury and retrograde, and some of you may have been born during Mercury retrograde, and it seems like they don't affect her because she was born in Mercury retrograde. Now, I may be speaking too soon. However, she I still make sure she backs up her stuff. So you should still back up your stuff. Uh, it's funny because this song came on uh, as soon as I started doing your re reading. It's called The Recipe. It's by um, Kendrick Lamar, I believe. Hold on. Yeah, Kendrick Lamar and Dr. Dre. And it's um, it's a really great song. And it's like, they come for the women, weed and weather. Don't it sound clever? Come and play. I think you want to go to L.A. <laughs> if you're in a cold place, Saggy, you're like, let's go for the women, weed and weather out in L.A. And I'm with you, Sag. I would love to go to California right now or Arizona or somewhere that's not covered in snow. Or maybe you're a Saggy that isn't covered in snow. But even my, my Saggy girl in Kentucky is covered in snow. So there's not much escape in it. All right, my loves, enough about weather. If you would like a personal reading with me, please check the description box below. Um, you can link up with me through everybody in my wellness center on Zoom, or if you prefer a Wissio reading, uh, if you prefer video rather, you can check out Wissio. I have a long menu of stuff you can do. Also, check out the description box below for my socials and all that other fun stuff. All right, let's just get into this reading. I have jibba jabbed too much to my sagis. All right, dear Father God, Mother Earth, Spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, please protect me and my viewers by only allowing in messages from the highest of vibrational beings and block any negative energies from entering this sacred space, so mo it be. All right, please like this video, share with the other Sagittarius, um, and all that. All right, Sagittarius, what's coming in during this Mercury and Retrograde? Ooh, great teacher. Learn from spiritual experiences. It's almost like you're rediscovering, like, what Christ consciousness may mean to you. Um, people may be coming to you a lot during this time looking for advice. Whoa, high priest. That came out. Oh, excuse me. The high priestess came out for Aries. Uh, and then we got the high priest coming out for you. So, Sagi, you're feeling your psychicness. Um, you know, having a Sag moon is part of the reason why I'm psychic. So just know that you guys are the most intuitive psychic, uh, the most intuitive and psychic signs out of the zodiac besides water signs. So it's it's really important that you honor that and that you learn to differentiate, again, between anxiety and intuition. Intuition and anxiety sound like two totally different things. And it's like even the most seasoned professional psychic can screw those two up, okay? See your seeds grow, baby. There's something about spring coming in. Um, and there's something about, you know, and this came in too, I think for... For Aries, like whatever seeds you you plant now, you're going to start to see come up in spring. And I do think that that's, that's something that's going on. Take note of intuitive messages. Yeah, so I might have some other Sagittarius moons watching. But if not, pay attention to your moon sign too. You may want to watch your moon messages. Um, if I haven't released those yet, I am going to try and get all these out this week. Um, because Mercury and retrograde is time sensitive stuff. Uh, oh, and there is no extended for this. Um... Also, direction, guardian, choose your path. So that's really important that, you know, whenever I get this, it's very important for me, you know, to tell my client or whoever gets this card or if I get it for myself to focus on what I do want, not what I don't. And there may be multiple things you want. There may be, there's always, you know, using all four elements is also really important when it comes to manifesting what you want. So make sure that if you're heavy in one element, in your chart you use the other ones like for me it's crystals you know it, it, like that's earth energy all crystals are earth energy basically to me 
And I have very little earth in my chart. So I use a lot of crystals because I need to access that from outside myself. I have enough. And Saggies, you can say this too. I have enough passion and, you know, things to say. It's that grounding that I need extra help with. So make sure that you're using all the tools in your tool belt. Even if they're not within, they're without, you know. Um, there's a lot you can do to help yourself grow spiritually here. Um, I'm seeing huge spiritual growth. Here we go. Wheel of Fortune. That's your card. And that's good luck. Jupiter energy. Uh, you've got real good luck coming in. Wow. I can't believe how... Wow. The fire sign readings tonight were so good. I hope all 12 videos come out this great. Um, I can already tell this is going to be a decent rating with this Wheel of Fortune. Seven of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Four of Wands, King of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. Okay, so there's some things you need to walk away from. You may, there may be a job or something that is bringing you down a little bit that you may need to walk away from, or there may be a person, a King of Cups, someone a Scorpio or some other strong water sign. Um, it's very important that you focus on the good and your stability. Um, it's almost like your job is ca causing some defensiveness. You may be overworking a little bit. And it's almost like try not to focus too much on money right now, Sag, because it's going to come in for you. It's an energy and don't worry too much about money right now. There is definitely some form of a money mindset that you're working on walking away from, that's for sure. And it definitely seems like there's some some person, uh, masculine energy, that a lot of Saggies are walking away from as well. Strong Scorpio. Wow, the love is. I love it. You have big choices coming in. Um, you may be getting a new job as well. The full, yeah. You're looking for new work, new love, new all new everything. That was the title of one of your readings a while ago. Um, and it's almost like Saggy's always ready for anything. Um, and you may have some Aries or Gemini in your chart or Virgo. You're slowly moving towards a whole new life. A uh, new love new job, new, 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 but it's going a little more slowly than you would like. And that's causing some confusion. But the, it, so the good thing though, is this guy always makes it to the finish line. You are so close. Yeah. The hermit. So when you feel confused or when things get overwhelming, I do want you to take some time alone to meditate. You're also opening up options in love. Um, and it's almost like, you know, figuring out what's for you is going to take some time. Yeah. So it does look like the manifesting you do now will start to show up in Pisces season. This is very similar to Aries reading, um, lovers and the fool. There may be a new, a new person you have coming into your life. Um, it's funny because. All these Mercury and Retrograde readings have been more about new love. So it's like, is it really the past coming back this time? I'm not certain. Um, there could be a Virgo who's confusing you. Uh, or Pisces or someone with those in their chart. Um, wow, leap of faith. The full twice. So that's big energy. Brand new. Brand new. Everything new. Um, you may even be moving homes or looking at new houses. There's, there's just, it's like you are ready to go and you're using your intuition. Wow. High priestess. So you've got the high priest and the high priestess. So you're using both your masculine and your feminine energy here. Ten of pentacles. Holy shit. Again, this denotes Aries and Pisces season. You've got big, big money, big money, baby. That's what I'm getting. And it's from using your intuition and having faith in the universe. Recognition. What? Fame and money? Are you serious? 
all because you took this like leap of faith. And I do think this, this is all going to come through closer to spring though. You're going to start to see the fruits of your labor after all this. Take some time. You've got the hermit twice. You may be working with a Virgo. You may have Virgo in your chart. Um, but the hermit here twice and with, with the great teacher, you, whoa, there's your card. Temperance. All these divinely guided moves, all this like intuition you're using is all about bringing you to the next level. You've got fame and fortune coming in for some of you, but it's after a period of being alone and after a period of solitude. And it's all about the patience. Look at this period of time, this period of solitude from a different point of view. It was like, you needed that because I think you're gonna be getting a lot of attention, Saggy. Um, get your rest now, I'm getting really strongly. And meditate and sleep as much as you can. <laughs> because, yeah, Ten of Swords, it's almost like, wow, the past is over. This is the end of the pain. This is the last bits, you're shaking off the last bits of the past and the nine and ones it's that's your card too it's like almost like you've been hurt in this life and but now it's time for your good karma to come in the tower and the knight of swords this things are going to change overnight for you and it's going to feel like it's a bit of a whirlwind and it may be a little overwhelming and um, try not to make any impulsive moves, but you're leaving one thing and going to another and it's gonna be highly successful and you're using your intuition. Ace of coins, six of cups, and the lovers. Wow, wow. You're leaving something really crappy to go to have the time of your life. I love this. Um, wow, Saggy. And it, this is a really, this is a strong connection. Just watch impulsivity. And watch doing things because you're hurt. You know, because it does look like you're hurting here quite a bit. But this is going to turn things around for you. Um, past life connection coming in. Something really, really strong. Um... Could be with the Gemini, could be with the Scorpio, or you could be leaving the Scorpio to go to a Gemini. Um, wow. Especially with that Knight of Swords and the, the Lovers here. That's Gemini, two Gemini cards. Death. Whoa. There is some big rebirth energy. Big, happy changes. These are not things that are, like, bad. The world. Yeah, it's like the end of pain. Goodbye, pain. Hello, happy. You know, and and hello, love. Hello, rejuvenation. Wow. Holy fire sign happiness. Um, this is not a bad Mercury in retrograde. And to label Mercury in retrograde bad is not a good idea. Like, and I think that universe had to prove that to me by giving me a beautiful Sagittarius baby during Mercury in retrograde. You need to see this from a different perspective, babies. Um this is going to bring in some huge transformation that isn't always pretty at first. But by Pisces season, rejuvenation, that's judgment. That's, you're, you're, I, you're going to meet, like, the love of your life, Saggy. And I think it's going to come in close to Pisces season. Yeah, Ace of Cups, brand new. Wow. Wow, this is beautiful, Sag. I can't believe how good... The fire sign readings were today watch any indecision watch any kind of feelings of feeling trapped um it does look like some of my saggies are in real pain right now maybe because of it, the death of a loved one um you know i did see one of a lot of my people who watch are dealing with real grief 
But keep being brave through these harder times because it's going to pay off. What you're doing now is going to be paying off by Pisces season. And it, I love it. Um, victory. Wow. Wow. Be brave during this victory, too, because there's going to be a lot of eyes on you, Saggy. You're winning um, in a big way. And there's a lot of, like, it's almost like taking my breath away. Uh, these fireside readings have been incredible. Conflict over this change. Okay, so it's like, it's important. You're, you're, okay, so maybe some of you aren't believing me right now that this is true. Or like, you know, oh, it's just another YouTube reader blowing smoke up my ass. But I promise you, go watch the Pisces and Scorpio readings. Like, I will tell somebody if they're getting a shit reading. And, or if they're being an idiot. For you, don't be afraid of success. It's almost like you're scared of this tower, but this tower is a good tower. You're afraid of failure, but you cannot. You cannot be afraid of failure. And I do think maybe there's something that you put a lot of work into that you feel like you have to let go of. And I know that's hard. And it's not giving up. It's redirecting your energy, you know? Yeah. All right, redirect that energy because what you're working on right now is causing some depression. Boss up over it, baby. Okay? Because, and by Pisces season and by Aries season, you're going to start to see some real results. Um, and I also think that your change the way you're seeing yourself, change the way you're seeing the situation. That hangman is coming through again and take a leap of faith. Try something new. Your new endeavors are going to pay off in a big way. Choice. Yeah, you've got to make the choice, though. There's, there's, and that's, that can be hard and that can be scary. Take the leap of faith, okay? If you're looking for a sign, here it is. You know, um, go for the new. Yeah, and you're feeling the weight because you may need to leave some things behind. You may need to say goodbye to some people that are really cool, that you really like, Saggy. And, but it's time for you to grow and it's time for you to do bigger things. Yeah. And whatever it is that you're in right now, it's trapping you. You feel trapped in this and that's, you got to break out. You got to break out, baby. Come on, Saggy. You can do it and celebrate. <laughs> um, it's very important that you celebrate the little things and go for the new thing that's going to cause celebration yeah this is all divinely guided saggy it's you've got it you've got to move forward to this new thing it's whatever it is you're in now it's trapping you it's and and you've got celebration that's divinely guided coming up so if you feel like anything's holding you back it's time to let it go new job or a new relationship, new home, whatever it is, whatever this, this choice is, okay? The tower could be a divorce or leaving a job or, you know, there's two of them here. So there's no doubt that this is not easy, okay? But there are awesome changes that are coming in. I'm talking fame and fortune. So please take the leap of faith. All right. I love you guys.